Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We've got some Star Wars Armada news to talk about. That's right, folks. It is Star Wars Armada news. There is something potentially big or at least significant coming for Star Wars Armada. And this is not just coming from ARC. This is coming from Atomic Mass Games. Uh, apparently, at Gen Con there was a, a, a small revelation. We're going to talk about this, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool. We're, we're going to eventually uh, yonder into wild speculation, but it is not baseless speculation. So uh, we're going to talk about all of that. If you guys are new here to the channel, we do talk a lot about Star Wars and tabletop games. I'd uh, love to have you stick around. Uh, we're doing a new round of the giveaway for another $25 Amazon gift card that you can put towards an expansion or game of your choice. All you have to do if you want to have a chance to enter to win that is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Make sure you click that subscribe button, that bell for alerts, uh, links in the description below. Join our Discord, social media channels, all that other stuff. Uh, we are going to talk about Gen Con and uh, Will Schick's comments regarding Armada. If you are not already a follower of Ion Radio, you may want to check them out. I'm going to put a link to the particular uh, episode of the Command Stack, which is episode 31, uh, that I'm going to have in the video description below as well. Uh, in the uh, in the Command Stack episode, because uh, Ion Radio does a lot of uh, a lot of tabletop gaming content, they do a lot of Star Wars Armada content, and the, uh, they also have uh, Command Stack, which is in the more in the podcast format. Uh, that uh, basically Garrett and Ken were talking about Gen Con. Uh, they, they talk a little bit about some of the, the tournament play that was going on there and some of the, uh, you know, they talk a lot about Star Trek Into the Unknown. It's, and it's a good episode. You should definitely check it out. But there's a particular part that I want to talk about, and that is uh, a chance encounter with Will Schick at Gen Con. And uh, where basically uh, Will uh, revealed to them that they're, they're not finished with Armada yet. Even though... Armada is not in, in development actively anymore. There is still something coming for Armada in October. Now, uh, I, October is the estimated day. Of course, nothing, no dates are set in stone, but that's kind of where the target is. So we can probably expect something from Atomic Mass Games for Star Wars Armada in October. Now, it wasn't said exactly what this was. Uh, but we can sort of infer that. So we're going to get a little bit into the the, the wild speculation, but I want to start it out uh, a little bit more grounded. Uh, this is almost certainly not a physical expansion. I, 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 I won't even say almost certainly. I'm just going to... I'll put my reputation on the line and say there is a 0% chance that this is a physical, a physical wave or a physical expansion. Um, or, or at least a, 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 a less than 1% chance of anything anything physical. Uh, what I do think that this is, is probably something like a points update. Um, but I also think it's, it's probably unlikely that this is like a rapid reinforcements uh, type thing. It, it certainly could be, uh, but it, was, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't communicated that way. Uh, and definitely, you know, you can check out uh, you, can, you can check out Ion Radio and check out the Command Stack episode to hear them them talk about it because the exact wording um, isn't like I don't think we have it verbatim, so it's not like I have a, a direct quote from Will Schick on this. But uh, there is there's definitely the idea that they wanted to leave the Armada community with you know, and they know Ark is. You know, uh, or there are people that are going to uh, can try to keep you know Star Wars Armada going and continue to run tournaments and continue to um, to keep the game going and and potentially that even means you know looking at um, you know points adjustments and things like that for the future uh, and and you know, maybe rules adjustments and maybe someday again you know you know a little bit more long term future possibly adding some uh, some new content but. But with all of that being said, like they they kind of wanted to leave the game in in a position where uh, it's better ready for the community to take over to take the reins, and so that's that's kind of the way it was. Uh, this comment was presented. So out of all the things that I think it could be, I think if any kind of physical product is at the bottom of the list, almost certainly not. I don't also don't think it's uh, a full blown rapid reinforcements. Although there could be some kind of PDF or or some kind of uh, 
PDF document. I think it's more what it is most likely is going to be, if it's anything PDF, it'll probably be a, a points update. Uh, I think that is a, a reasonable thing. It's also possible it could be some sort of rules uh, update. And now I don't know if there would be many changes to the rules. I would hope that if there were a rules update, it wouldn't be many changes. What I wouldn't mind seeing out of Atomic Mass Games is a uh, uh, basically a comprehensive rulebook that takes into account every FAQ ruling uh, that has been made on their rules forum because we don't know how much longer that rules forum will be up for, especially after after uh, Worlds 2025 for both X-Wing and Armada. I think that's something that I think is very likely to possibly be done. And and if of course if, if Atomic Mass Games doesn't do it, I, I'm pretty sure uh, you know Arc is. Uh, I would bet that Arc would be working on that. I think a, a comprehensive rule book is one of the top things that the community needs. Um, the, you know, the rule books that we have are still very old and outdated and don't necessarily take into account all of the <clears throat> the subtle rulings that have, uh, have come out of the, the, the rules forum. Um, certain, certain cards, for example, were worded a certain way. Look at the Invisible Hand, for example. It was this, you know, this range bubble, like, you know, uh, this, this kind of donut where somebody had, like, you had to drop a squadron at range three. And that meant that it couldn't be less than range three. And I'm like, like, that's, like, it seems like that was outside of the spirit of the card, but because of the, you know, the rules as written versus rules as intended, uh, it ended up being that bubble. And it's, you know, so I wonder if, like, little things like that could potentially get changed. And I know that's a weird one, because in that particular example, there's some people that I think it, it's actually kind of neat that it works that way, but I, I, I don't know. All that being said, uh, I, I think my money would either be on a, a rules update or a points update, or possibly both. Uh, I don't see a Rapid Reinforcements 3 realistically coming, but it is possible. Uh, it is also possible that if they're doing a Rapid Reinforcements 3, that maybe it would be a smaller one. Um, I don't think that AMG was ready to drop Armada and X-Wing on the day that they, that they did. I think there was still a little bit more stuff planned. I think they weren't going to keep them forever, but uh, but it definitely seems like with the Embracer group changes and everything that this stuff uh, ended a little bit sooner, maybe six months to a year sooner than they had uh, had you know that they were ready to. And so I think they still had some things in the pipe. I've heard enough stuff from multiple sources to suggest that there was some things planned. There were play testers saying they were you know seriously optimistic about the future. Uh, uh, that never has come, you know, so there was there was definitely people kind of almost going on record saying, yeah, there's there's stuff that we've been play testing for Armada that we're excited for. So that either means new content or just new rules. Um, and that's cool. Um, definitely. I mean, even some points adjustments could go a massively long way uh, towards shaking up the meta and uh, towards making Worlds 2025 a new experience. Because if we don't get anything official before Worlds 2025, and of course ARC isn't going to give anything, um, you know, game-changing before Worlds 2025, because Worlds 2025 is still an Atomic Mass Games event. So the only people that can drop new content for Star Wars Armada before Worlds is AMG. And so if they don't drop it before Worlds, then we would run a pretty serious risk of seeing the exact same meta at Worlds 2025 than we saw at Worlds 2024. And that would be a real shame if something like that were to happen. So um, I, don't, I don't think a, a single year has ever passed where we had zero changes from Worlds to Worlds. I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that has ever happened before in the history of Star Wars Armada. And it would be a real shame if that were to happen for the final Worlds instead of sending the game out with, you know, from official support... Uh, with with a fanfare, they'd be sending it out with a little whimper, like uh, it's like, oh well, yes, yeah, this is just a repeat of the exact same lists from last year because nothing has changed, you know. And granted, it probably wouldn't be the exact same lists, uh, but you know, because people will, will try slightly different things or they'll try to counter what they saw at the worlds the previous year. But still, it, it would be kind of a feels bad if there was not a single shakeup. In the meta, and I think you know a couple of inc there's plenty of cards that could see a points change. I would really love to see that. Um, I'd love to see some rules clarifications, but I'm also I will admit I'm a little cautious. If AMG is putting out something, what if they were to say, "Oh, you know what? Okay, here's a new rules up. We're gonna do 
you know, an Armada 2.0. Uh, this is the final rules drop, and oh, it, it changes. All, all of your objectives are gone, and now here's here's six new objectives that involve you babysitting a, a you know a, a, a control point, a, a point of interest in your in your home zone, and uh, whoever you know controls the most points of interest on the board wins. And it's not about blowing other ships up anymore, and all kinds of stuff like that. You know, I don't. I don't think they'll do anything that extreme. <clears throat> I think those extreme types of changes that they have done to games like X-Wing and Legion were done from a place of, hey, we want to support these games in the future, and we want to be able to develop card packs for these games in the future, and so we're trying to change the game in a way uh, <clears throat> that allows us to continue to support the game with only card packs. I think that was the reason for a lot of the Legion and, and X-Wing changes. Not to say that Legion's only getting card packs, but Legion is going to be getting card packs in addition to new plastic, where X-Wing was only ever going to get card packs. They were never going to make new plastic for X-Wing. Um, so that's really... I don't think they'll do something that drastic for Armada because they don't need to set it up for, for card packs. But I, I, am, I am a little worried what, what they might do. I hope it's something as simple as a points change and maybe even a, a slimmed... Rapid reinforcements three with with something you know some new cool stuff or or some kind of way to take advantage of the ship keywords and things like that. Um, you know I think there's all kinds of really cool uh, options for the future. There's a lot of hooks that the community can like can poke and prod at, especially with all the ship keywords with certain mechanics that really never got developed. Certain um, certain holes in factions that are you know aching to be filled. Um, some kind of way to make trench worthwhile, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, some kind of bomber-centric commander for CIS. There's all kinds of really cool things, and there's ships, uh, ships that I think the community would love to see become official. Things like the Architons for the Republic, which I think AMG was gearing up to be able to do with that late reprint, that last Armada reprint was Architons. There are more Architons in circulation, but that's not even here nor there because at this point. A lot of people are going to be 3D printing stuff um, after Worlds 2025. So it really boils down to, um, you know, more or less keeping the rules uh, and, 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 and trying to find places for new players to get into the game. Making the rules complete, comprehensive, and accessible is a very important thing. Not just errata guides, but the actual rules like the how to play and, enti and the entire rules reference guide. Uh, and all the FAQ stuff centralized is, is, is that's kind of where I would guess that they that they would do or should do. Uh, and if of course if they don't, <clears throat> that's where the community comes in. So it'll be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Uh, October is actually not that far away. Uh, we have two months until October. Now we don't know if it'll be October exactly because um, uh, target dates seldom actually you know end up being exactly what they're supposed to be and, and also we don't know if it's beginning october or end of october that's uh, that's a massive massive change and, and a massive swing on when it when it could be so looking forward to it i want to hear some of your predictions what do you think at atomic mass games will do for star wars armada before the end of the year uh it's it could be very very exciting and i wonder if they'll have a little bit more liberty to do something a little more um, substantial considering that they're you know they're kind of the game is now officially out of development so they can be like all right here's the last thing that we had here's all the stuff that we had you know take it and run with it community that would be pretty interesting let's see what you guys have to say down in the comment section i will talk to you guys soon be sure to check out the ion radio video the command stack uh where they talk about this and uh get a little bit more context and also check out star trek into the unknown and all kinds of other cool games that are going to be coming to fill our tabletops uh in the very near future it's going to be an exciting time all right that's going to do it for today's video i want to thank you all so much for watching big thanks to my patrons you guys are out of this world and help make the whole channel possible i will talk to you later may the force be with you live long and prosper be excellent to each other the spice must flow so say we all and always wash your socks